So I'll be really brief. Uh, my mom taught me a long time ago to read the room, and the room is here to see this young man. Um, but I did want to say um, welcome to the Women Yama family, um, to Buna, to Issa, friends, coaches, all of you in attendance. Um, hopefully you all have felt the love dating back to draft lottery night, to arriving yesterday, and then here today. Uh, to Victor, I wanted to say to you directly, we're excited to grow with you, support you, challenge you, especially Coach Pop. There'll be a lot of challenging there. Um, on your journey through life and basketball. Your talent is obvious, but as we got to know you, the maturity, the approach, um, the character really showed us how special of a young man you are. And as an organization, we're extremely excited to welcome you to the city of San Antonio and to the Spurs family. Thanks, man. And with that, I'll pass it over to Jordan for questions. We'll take questions if anyone has any. We'll start with Mike Finger, San Antonio Express News right here. Hey, Victor, you mentioned the day before the draft in New York about wanting to be the best at all parts of the job of basketball player. And I'm sure you've seen some of the murals around town, the mariachi songs written about you. Uh, do, you do you feel like part of that job is to immerse yourself in this community? And, and how do you feel like you're going to tackle that part of the job? You're right. You're right. I want to I want to do the best I can in every aspect of the job. And, uh, you know, as far as, as I've seen, the, the fans have been the best at their job. So, yeah, I can I can uh, I can only hope to be at their level. And um, yeah, so, you know, it's just, uh, you know, there was a photo shoot before and uh, I gotta answer the question the best I can. As I, I gotta be the, yeah, I gotta do my best. We'll go to Jeff McDonald right here. Hey, Victor. Um, what have the last, since you left Brooklyn, what, have, what has the last 24 hours been like for you? Has it been sort of a, a whirlwind type deal? You know, uh, high in emotions, but uh, also a lot, of, a, lot, a lot of stuff to do. You know, after the draft, after it happened, I had like two hours of media, and then I got just I to remember. celebrate with my family, so the emotion had time to settle down a little bit, but uh, it was a really tiring, that, that, the last 72 hours were really, really tiring. And uh, yeah, but it's, you know, I'm, I'm really enjoying the moment. Everyone is doing a perfect job around me, you know, everyone is doing their best, so I feel good. And uh, so I have the, the least to do also, you know, uh, my, my family and my, the people around me do a lot for me. And uh, yeah, everywhere I've been, I've been uh, welcomed uh, warmly, so it's just, it's, it's really comfortable. I'm, I'm, a really, I'm, I'm really happy to be in that position. What, what have you been able to do since you've got to San Antonio in those, those hours and days? I haven't been able to do much, you know. Uh, I've had time to eat some, uh, some tacos, <laughs> but that's pretty, that's pretty much it, you know. Just uh, unpack, the, unpack the luggages and, uh, yeah, meet, meet all the, the staff, meet, meet the, the, the fans. This is the first time I come to this arena. You know, I haven't had the time to visit it all, but. And, yeah, and lastly, I'm, what did you think about just all the fans at the airport yesterday when you landed? This is, uh, I wasn't expecting so much, so much, uh, so much from just my arrival, you know. It's, uh, it's really, it was really, really fun moment. And this is, this is what it's about, you know. This makes me happy. Go to Don Harris right here. Hey, Victor. Um, just really fascinated by the fact that we've never seen anybody in your height handle the ball the way you do. And I wanted to get more uh, reflection from you on the, the development of that. I, I heard there were the Pete Marriage videos and, and your mom was your, your first coach in teaching you about ball handling. Two, when did that start? And was mom as tough as Coach Pop? Sorry, can you, I, I didn't hear you. Was mom as tough as Coach Pop? No. <laughs> When, when did that begin? Uh, you know, I haven't, I haven't experienced uh, playing under Coach Pop yet, but uh, I know for sure my mom wasn't as hard as him because mm -hmm. she's only, she was only my coach when I was probably like uh, 
five years old, so if she had been as tough as Coach Bob, I probably would have quit. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, it's, she she always she always knew her role and and uh, basketball for her and for my family was always secondary. You know, uh, the first thing was always making me grow as a person and being a good human being uh, before being a good basketball player. But uh, yeah, about the, the Pete Mar Marovic videos, you know, I had one of my coach when I was 12, 13 years old, he, he was a big fan, like, like he knows everything about basketball. And he was the one watching the, the videos and then giving us drills to do. And I just learned that, co that coach, he's like a basketball fa fanatic. And I just learned he was at the draft, he was in Brooklyn and, and he didn't even tell me. He was there, he was just watching me like a, like a shadow, and he didn't even tell me. This is how big a fan he is. And secondly, uh, reflect on, uh, or tell us a little about your dinner with David Robinson, Tim Duncan, and Manu Ginobili last night. Yeah, probably one of the best, you know, in probably a couple hours, I learned more than, uh, I learned more about the NBA than in my whole life before, you know. And uh, it's such, such, a, such comforting to see that these people who are so important to the city of San Antonio and to the franchise are such kind people and generous because they genuinely wanted to, to share with me their experience. And, uh, you know, yeah, I feel like they, they've already started to take great care of me. And uh, it's just so comforting to, to be in that, in that position. It's so comfortable, you know. And uh, it's also... I think it's also the position uh, Tim Duncan was in when he came in he, because he told me he, he had to, he just had to look up to, to David Robinson to, and, and Sean Elliott to, yeah, to and follow the, their path and he knew he was in good hands. We'll go right here to Tom Orsborn, Express News. Victor, what were your thoughts on the Spurs drafting CD and uh, what, what do you think of his game? Sorry. CD Asoko, uh, what, what was your thoughts about Spurs drafting him and what are your, what are your thoughts about his game? You know, CD, I, I've known him for a really long time, almost, almost 10 years now. And uh, he's always been like of the, amongst the, the top players of our age, like a really, really mature playing on the court, you know. And uh, yeah, he was, uh, he, it was really hard to play against him back in the days. I haven't played against him in a long time, actually. Uh, oh yeah, I mean, except in the, at the G League, and uh, yeah, he's really developed into. I mean, we we would we were playing against each other at 10 years old, and now we we're, we're together in, in in the NBA play in the NBA. We're gonna be NBA players, so it really shows that he's developed into the man he wanted to be. We'll come over here to Larry. Wimby, uh, welcome to San Antonio. Um, can you describe to us, in your own words, you as a basketball player? We've all seen the highlights out there. Can you tell us, in your own words, though, who you are as a basketball player, and what are the Spurs getting in you as a young man off the court? As a basketball player, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be myself. Um, I'm trying to. I'm not trying to. At the same time, I, I'm trying to learn and be as objective as I can. You know, to, to become the best. But I'm also trying to be myself and not let anyone change the way I, I, I want to be and change the way I, I want to play. And um, I think this is really the, the way to become the, the best version of myself I can be as a player. So yeah, but I think I, I do a little bit of everything, you know. And uh, off the court, uh, there's, I mean, people have been showing me love so far, a lot of love, and uh, I think I can give all this back to, to the fans, to the community, to the, to the franchise, and to the city, and uh, even to the state. And um, yeah, this is, uh, there's, there's a lot I want to do off the court, which is a good thing, because I'm probably going to retire before I'm 40 years old. So I need to make something out of my time. We'll end English with Tim right here. Victor, I'm curious what the next few days are going to be like for you. Um, I know sometimes Nike guys get called up there to, to go through that, and summer league practice starts in a few days, summer league games start in a couple of weeks. How hectic is your calendar the next, next few days? 
you know, I got a, I got a, I got a lot to do, but it's, it's all right. it's okay. It's, it's all gonna fit in the, in the schedule. I got, I got houses to visit, to, 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 to get comfortably installed in the city. I gotta go, as you said, to, to the Nike headquarters in Portland. Um, yeah, I got, I got, a, I got a couple, couple other things to do around the states, and um, but um, most importantly, you know, lately I've had so much stuff to do off the court, uh, like with the with the media, for example, that uh, that uh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go back to re being really focused on on practicing on lifting, you know, because this isn't what I've done most in the in the past couple of days, and uh, you know, it feels. It feels really weird. We'll do some French with Jan right here in the front. Uh, Victor, Jan Onona, l'équipe. Uh, Est-ce que tu peux nous, nous parler du, du dîner que tu as évoqué hier soir avec, uh, bon, avec quelques légendes des Spurs et qu'est-ce qu'ils ont partagé avec toi et qu'est-ce que tu en as ressorti Merci. Alors, uh, c'était vraiment... Comme je disais, une, une des soirées les plus enrichissantes pour moi de, de, de ma vie, un des meilleurs dîners de ma vie. Et euh, ouais, c'est, j'ai appris, j'ai appris énormément de choses en seulement deux heures, même pas. Et euh, franchement, c'était, c'est super rassurant de voir les, que, que ces gars-là habitent toujours dans la ville de San Antonio. Ils sont, ils sont toujours autour du club. Ils s'occupent, euh, voilà, encore des joueurs. Ils entretiennent une relation avec, euh, avec la franchise. Et, euh, et ouais, et en fait, je sais que je, voilà, c'est très, très, une installation très confortable parce que il y a des, y a des, des légendes de, de, pas seulement de, du club, mais de l'histoire de la NBA qui sont là pour m'aider et qui me laisseront pas faire les erreurs de foi. Et euh, voilà quoi, c'est franchement de tous les rookies, euh, de, pas de, seulement de cette année, mais de, de toutes les années, c'est sûrement un des meilleurs avantages à avoir en fait. Go right here in the white. Victor, bonjour, Clément Rampelin pour Canal+. On parle beaucoup d'héritage, à la fois Tim Duncan, euh, David Robinson, mais aussi l'héritage français ici à San Antonio, Tony Parker, Boris Diao, Yann Malmi. Comment vous le percevez, percevez cet héritage Est-ce que c'est un, un atout ou c'est quelque chose qui peut être lourd des fois à porter Non, c'est qu'un qu atout, parce que, encore une fois, c'est simplement tout, tout ces personnes qui, tous ces Français qui ont marqué l'histoire ici, c'est uniquement les personnes avec qui j'ai des bonnes relations et donc euh, que je pourrais aller voir en, en cas de besoin et, euh, et qui seront là pour m'aider. Donc euh, non, y a, franchement, il n'y a, a pas de poids à propos de ça. Si on se projette sur la saison prochaine, comment le fait d'être en NBA désormais, vous pensez, va changer votre jeu et votre corps aussi Est-ce que ça va changer des choses pour vous Oui, bien sûr. Bien sûr. Déjà, euh, le, un, un, un facteur très important, c'est... Euh, à quel point, le, à quel point les, les joueurs sont pris au sérieux ici comparé à, voilà, à d'autres endroits dans le monde. Et euh, donc on, on s'occupe tellement bien des joueurs que tout est fait pour la, la progression et euh, le développement. Et donc, euh, ouais, mon, mon jeu, bien sûr, qui va changer. Ce n'est pas, euh, pas les mêmes registres dans lesquels je serai attendu sur le terrain en NBA et, et dans lesquels euh, il voilà, y aura l'espace de se développer, etc. Donc, euh, mais, le jeu NBA, c'est ce qui, me, ce qui me, me convient le plus personnellement. Et une dernière question, vous parlez des légendes qui sont encore dans la ville. Est-ce que c'est quelque chose sur lequel vous pouvez vous projeter, faire toute votre carrière ici, peut-être rester plus tard Est-ce que les premières heures ici vous ont donné envie de, de vivre ça, peut-être Bien sûr, les, les premières heures ici m'ont donné de vivre dans cette ville pendant longtemps. Ouais. Et la loyauté, c'est quelque chose qui est important pour moi. Donc, euh, je ne sais pas de quoi sera fait le futur, mais... Je, forcément, ma volonté, ce serait de rester dans la même franchise pendant longtemps. Right here in the gray. Thank you. Uh, Victor, France, uh, Wassim Cornet pour France 24. Uh, clairement, il y a beaucoup d'attentes pour votre venue ici à San Antonio. Est-ce que vous avez pu penser à peut-être des objectifs personnels que vous êtes fixés Je sais que c'est parfois difficile de dissocier les deux. Uh, des objectifs perso uh, pour vous en tant que joueur Bien sûr. Uh, déjà, un objectif en général, ce sera, ce sera toujours de marquer, marquer les esprits par les performances et par le, aussi le, voilà, le, le bon déroulement de, des choses. Et, euh, mais euh, j'attends vraiment de, voilà, de jouer mes premiers matchs, euh, d'avoir beaucoup de minutes en NBA avant de, de pouvoir me fixer des objectifs clairs. Parce que 
c'est quelque chose qui sera de, ce sera un travail de jour en jour en fait. One last one here from the front. Bonjour Victor, Guillaume Nodin, RFI. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous parler de votre arrivée depuis hier ici, de l'accueil que vous avez reçu Est-ce que, même si vous cherchez encore un domicile, est-ce qu'en conséquence, vous vous sentez déjà à la maison Oui, ouais, ouais, bien sûr. Bien sûr, je, je me sens à ma place. Euh, parce que, voilà, y a, j ai, j ai, depuis que je suis arrivé, j'ai vu que des gens qui étaient reconnaissants euh, que j'arrive dans cette ville. Et donc... Euh, Ouais, c'est c'est facile d'un côté c'est facile aussi de, de s'acclimater à un climat où on est déjà apprécié et donc euh, et donc ouais c'est je me sens à ma place mais euh, enfin voilà c'est ça. Thank you Victor. I know you already got your jersey from Adam Silver, but Brian would like to give you your first San Antonio Spurs jersey. Everybody give it up for Victor Wembanyama. Thank you, Victor. CD, you want to...